Hi everyone and welcome! I'm Rosemary and it's been a while but in today's video I'm back with another Dollar Tree Organization Hacks video and for this episode of the series I have ideas to help out with living spaces like living rooms, bedrooms, and home offices. As always we will be using everyday Dollar Tree items and altering or enhancing them in some way to create actual hacks by combining them with other items, turning them sideways, upside down, or using them in a completely different capacity than their intended use to find creative and inexpensive ways to get organized and make life easier. And I will be getting to those Dollar Tree specific hacks momentarily, but first I want to take a quick detour and take a look at some Amazon, Ikea, and thrift items since when talking about organizing living spaces, I think it's worth a few minutes to discuss the elephant in the room. And by elephant, I mean the furniture. Now, of course, much of this is just going to be what it is. However, furniture choice is such an enormous part of living space organization that it's worth pointing out that if, for example, you are looking to get an ottoman, don't just get an ottoman, get an ottoman with storage. And that square footage taken up by your coffee table will be much more organization friendly if it also has storage compartments. Pretty much any piece of furniture you can buy or pick up secondhand from a sofa or console table to entry tables to bed frames to nightstands and end tables to desks have options that incorporate storage. And from an organization perspective, those options are always the best choice. And again, you don't have to buy new. Thrift stores, yard sales, and online marketplaces are great ways to find these items and even sell your old items to make space for your new organizationally optimal pieces. But don't just think about the elephants or the big pieces of furniture. Most rooms have hidden opportunities to stick in a smaller piece or two to assist in your living space organization efforts, either because of weird angles created by the larger furniture pieces or just odd small spaces naturally occurring because of where a wall or doorway or window was placed. Think items like chests or chest style baskets, small bookshelves, thin cabinets, even thin shoe stands and shoe cabinets. I found all of these hinge baskets at the thrift store for between five and $15. They needed some minor repairs and a good cleaning, but because of their low height, each is a perfect storage solution for where I place them, either under shelves or under a window holding items like board games, fire logs, and an air mattress. However, if I have the space, I always prefer taller storage friendly pieces like bookshelves or other pieces with a streamlined footprint. Depending on the width, I can squeeze these in just about anywhere. And voila, instant storage space that not only takes advantage of the otherwise dead floor space, but also the vertical space above, amplifying the storage to create new areas and alleviate the demands on other closets, cabinets, and drawers. For example, this $99 IKEA shoe storage cabinet found a home in this small, awkward and otherwise unusable space outside my bathroom and it now houses my towels alleviating the cramming in my linen closet. This awkward dead space was created by the placement of my desk and armchair. However, an appropriately sized $59 bookshelf from Amazon turns the space into an attractive storage area housing files, my printer and space for decor and that silver play button. In this odd space between a doorway and partial wall, this $79 metal and wood cabinet from Ikea found a home and like with all these squeeze in options, a measuring tape is your best friend to find the perfect item in width, depth and height to fit into your specific awkward unused space. And in my case, this cabinet fit the bill perfectly and transformed my awkward unused space into a stand for my all-in-one computer with storage for files and binders underneath. Okay, now on to the Dollar Tree hacks, starting with those magazine files on the bookshelves. Like many home offices, mine is carved out of a section of my living room, so it's really not appropriate, nor do I have the space for large bulky pieces like filing cabinets, not to mention the cost of those pieces. So where then can you file all those important documents, bills, home, work, and school paperwork, and office supplies. Enter one of my all-time favorites, the magazine file, and Dollar Tree sells these in the office supply section. They come flat like this in multiple styles and colors, and they even have plastic ones. 
I like to use them to create a vertical filing cabinet to house files like income taxes, insurance, benefits, utilities, etc. Then within the magazine file, I have two pocket folders like these from Dollar Tree that come three to a pack, and I use one folder for each subgroup. For example, in the utilities file, I have a separate folder for electric, water, and internet. Income tax has a folder for each year, and insurance has one for home, auto, etc. You can then place the magazine holders in a regular cabinet or on an open bookshelf to keep files organized, handy, and concealed behind uniform holders. And these magazine files are not just great for filing paperwork, I also use them to hold and conceal other items like envelopes, paper supply, office supplies, mail, manuals, maps, and all those wires that you're not sure where they came from, but you're afraid to get rid of. Speaking of afraid to get rid of, unfortunately, we often have files that are older, but we still have to hold on to, like income tax returns and statements and receipts. Fortunately, Dollar Tree has these fantastic archive boxes, perfect for that purpose. They're about a third of the size of a regular archive box and fit perfectly on a bookshelf or in a regular cabinet, making them perfect for home archive use. They're also great to sort and store memorabilia, photos, and other such items. Another great product I like to use to create vertical files are these three ring binders. And Dollar Tree sells one inch binders like these for $1.25 in the office section. I use them along again with the two pocket folders and you'll notice that these do already come with the binder holes punched in. Also tab dividers, page protectors, and other inserts like this plastic pouch with a zipper. Right now, I'm mostly using the binders for business documents and paperwork, but I have used them for years with multiple uses, including organizing parties and showers, home renovations, and through the school years and things like college applications. As an example, with my business, I use folders to hold items like bank and credit card statements, sheet protectors to hold and easily display important documents, permits, and certificates, while the binder pouch is perfect for receipts. So you can see how this is also perfect for home applications, like parties or home renovations with samples or invitations, for example, in the folders, quotes or contracts in the sheet protectors, and receipts in that handy binder pouch. Then there's one of my favorite uses for this method, a binder full of sheet protectors to house all of those printouts from internet recipes. Speaking of which, if you're interested in awesome meal ideas, especially on a budget, be sure to check out the new series my son Matt and I are doing called the Budget Meal Challenge, where we're shopping the cheapest items from the most budget-friendly stores and coming up with quick, easy, and delicious meals, most of which are under $2 per serving. Check out the link in the description and at the end of this video. Now, if your idea of the perfect evening is to take your delicious meal and cozy up on the sofa to watch your favorite show, then one of these space-saving sofa arm tables would be great. These examples from Amazon are actually pretty reasonably priced, but you could make a Dollar Tree version for even less. Pick up one of these 11 by 14 inch wood panels in the plus section for just $3 and two of these mini chalkboards in the craft section. To make, I first measured the width of my sofa arm and it measured four and a half inches. And then in order to make sure I had enough clearance, I added one and a half inches for a total of six inches. And that is the distance I wanted to place my chalkboards apart on the wood panel. Since the panel is 11 inches wide, I measured in two and one half inches on each side and marked it there with a pencil. Then I lined the center of the chalkboard up with the mark and glued the blackboards onto the wood panel with wood glue. Next, I set the whole piece aside to let that set up overnight to ensure a good bond. The next day, you can paint or varnish to protect the wood surface. If you don't have varnish on hand, you can pick up a bottle of Mod Podge at Dollar Tree and apply a couple of coats of that to the surface for a good substitute. Then you can slide the tray over the top of your sofa arm for an inexpensive Dollar Tree version of a sofa arm table with room for your meal, a drink, and your remote. Speaking of the remote, there seems to be a gazillion remotes these days, but these Dollar Tree pen and pencil organizers also make a great remote holder. 
just place one on the shelf next to or under your TV and slide the remotes right in. Simple as pie, as long as you can get your family members to put them away there. Now, if you want a more close at hand remote storage option, you can take one of these Dollar Tree pocket pot holders, remove the little hanging loop, and stitch or stitch witch it to the back of a sofa pillow. Once attached, you can then place your remote, a book you're reading, or snacks in the pocket. Just remember that you put it there the next time you're looking for that remote. Now, if you prefer a more decorative option to house your remotes, you can create a quick and easy coffee table tray using one of those wood panels. And you could do the rectangular one like we used on the sofa arm table, but I'm gonna use the square wood panel for this one. It's also $3 in the plus section. All you need to do is flip it over. And again, you're gonna to want to use some paint or varnish to protect it. Um, then it's ready to go. Just use it to corral items like remotes, coasters, books, even a small plant. To make it even more decorative, you could also use wood glue to attach some feet like these wood beads or chunky blocks, also from Dollar Tree, to create this attractive footed tray for just about five bucks. So now you can be frugal, organized, and crafty. Speaking of crafty, I was thinking of squeezing in a craft slash storage space organization hacks video before the end of the year so that it can be included in the whole house compilation. In addition to the budget meal, decor, and gift videos I have planned. Please let me know if you'd be interested in that by typing one more org in the comments. Thanks. Along with trays, other decorative items like bowls, baskets, other decorative containers, even wood ladders and table baskets can all serve as both decor as well as storage solutions. And guess what? All of these are DIYs with most of them made from Dollar Tree items. I made all of these in previous videos and I'll leave a link to those in the description. But for this video, let's just see how you can use them to help with storage and organization needs. Let's start with my favorite, this DIY wood ladder. I originally made it as a plant hanger for my patio, but shortly thereafter found I liked it much better to display and store throw blankets in my living room. I love that it has a small footprint, but takes advantage of unused vertical space above, providing a lovely home for my throws. And in turn, the throws create a decor piece in their own right, adding color, texture, and a cozy softness, especially in my current home, softening this stone column. Likewise, large baskets also make another great container to store blankets and also pillows or toys. And since they are DIY, these containers are fairly inexpensive. You could even elevate your DIY container to create small furniture pieces like this end table, which doubles as a storage container for anything from blankets and toys to hobby and craft materials. You can even use recycled materials like toilet paper rolls, tin cans, and cereal boxes to make beautiful decorative pieces that also organize and store items like office supplies and mail. And again, I'll have links in the description if you'd like to check out any of these DIY decorative storage solutions. But if you're not up for DIYing, here are some other ready to go options. Dollar Tree usually has a great selection of these nested decorative boxes that are great for holding all types of small items. Then just replace the lid and stack on a shelf or table and your storage will double as decor. In a bedroom, they can be used to conceal and hold things like hair accessories, makeup, or jewelry. In an office space, they can be used for office supplies. And in a living space to hold items like crafting materials or even small video games would also fit in the larger boxes. But if you're anything like me, you probably need a lot more storage for video games than those Dollar Tree decorative boxes could handle. Luckily, I found that these Dollar Tree refrigerator soda can storage bins are a perfect solution for the more robust collection. These bins will hold just about every digital entertainment case from DVDs to CDs to PlayStation to Xbox to Wii to Twitch, and you can buy one for every type to keep your audio, video, and game collections nice and organized. The bins fit nicely on a TV stand or shelf and can be removed and then replaced when done. Now, if your toys that need storage look a lot less like this and a lot more like this, then this toy bin hack using these large parachute material bags may be a good option. 
They are extra large. They measure 19 by 17 plus inches and then seven inches wide. And that parachute material is virtually indestructible. My store had this pretty multicolored pastel pattern, which would look great in a kid's room or a family room as well. Just fill with toys and hang on one of those out of the way walls. And these bags have an enormous capacity. To give you an idea, they held over 30 of those Webkin sized stuffed animals. Alternately, you could store behind your sofa or a bed by simply pulling your sofa or bed out a few inches from the wall and slide the bags in behind. And don't just think toys, use this back of the bed or sofa hack for sheets, towels, clothes, or other soft items that can squish. And here's another bed hack if you have space challenges around your bed like I do. I saw these handy little bed shelves on Amazon, but decided to make my own Dollar Tree version. I took one of these Dollar Tree shelves and two wood paddles from the kitchen section. I glued the paddles to the shelf using wood glue and let the glue set overnight. First adding a couple of heavy items on top like these candles to ensure a tight bond. Then voila, a mini $4 side table for my tight space and the perfect size to hold my glasses, phone, and a remote. And yes, it still clears the closet door. Now what about all those other bedroom clutter challenges like clothes, shoes, handbags, jewelry, hair, and makeup? Well, we've covered all those in previous videos, which are linked in the description, or you can check out the playlist here. And if you're hungry, our fabulous new budget meal series here. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.